the money guns. There go those cutouts again. Ooh, he don't care. Now who gonna pick all that up? How she be telling everybody's business? Even in the divorce, he playing you. All wrong. Robin, that's so pretty. I hate that for her. You just hate Wendy. You're just planning a dinner party. The older folks went to bed early. Strip clubs ain't nothing to Ashley. She has every right not to want to invite you. And clearly me. We need to put an infidelity clause. She came here established. You sound pressed. No. Since we've been together as a group, do y'all see Ashley's baby here? Was Robin wrong for not bringing this up on this season show? Ooh, Potomac fam! The drama this week that has unfolded already. I have not even seen this episode and I have just been on social media ducking and dodging this whole Robin and Juan and Patreon. Lord, welcome y'all. If you do not know me, I am your girl Donna Rizzo of From Rizzo With Love, aka Rizzo. I do Married at First Sight, Real Housewives of Potomac, Insecure, Big Brother, Love is Blind, Rap shit, all the above recaps. We are here to discuss the Real Housewives of Potomac Season 7, Episode 16. I haven't even seen it yet and I'm already blown away. Y'all, the first half of this season has been trash, right? We can all agree. Like, it started to pick up recently after the Mia and Wendy fight because I wasn't really feeling that. I wasn't really feeling the weeks after that where everybody was like shunning Wendy and like loving on Mia. It was just weird for me. I realize I'm blown away and I'm talking and I'm jumping right in for people who typically watch this. Listen, for those of you who got, I can't even talk. For those of you guys who do not know me, I am your girl Donna Rizzo. You may have seen me on Married at First Sight and on Lifetime as a correspondent with Kevin Frazier for the kickoff special Journey So Far, hosting Decision Day Dish, co-hosting, uh, what is it, a look back special? I can't even remember, y'all, this, this episode is throwing me, but... If you are here, you are here for the Real Housewives of Potomac. And we're going to get into this, y'all. But a little bit of housekeeping really quickly. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is unlike other recaps that you see. If you notice, this is a live reaction recap. I'm not doing a post-show recap. I am watching the show along with you. Now, it's not going to be the full hour that you see because I'm cutting up the little fillers, the maggots and the crocodile, all of that shit. You don't need that. I am here to talk about specific moments as they come up on the show. I want you to feel like you're having a viewing party with me. I want you to see my reaction in individual and specific moments. I want to know how you felt in these moments and I want you to see how I felt because likely we all got very similar feelings as it relates to some of these people. Though I did have a little back and forth with some people as it relates. Is that a bug? It's not a bug as it relates to um, Candace, but it's weird because this season I actually like her. I really wish she was like this the whole season, you know, the whole series. But make sure you guys stay until the end because I will ask you a question as it pertains to the episode that I want you guys to engage with. But after this episode ends, I do want to go back and watch all the Robin and Juan stuff because I haven't been watching that because I wanted to watch this episode first. So get my reaction on the episode and then let's dive into this mm. Mm -mm -mm. all right y'all without further ado welcome 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 and let's get into this real housewives of potomac season 7 episode 16 the naked truth let's go oh yeah y'all also forgot we gotta figure out if mia hey wait you know <laughs> Let's go. I can't believe this season. Oh, they back in Potomac? Good. Cause got Mexico. All these trips this season have done a lot for these women. And not in a positive way. Candace is a whole performer and singer, y'all. She a whole artist. This is crazy. Robin, you better be bringing somebody to go dress shopping with. Robin, you can't plan a wedding in a month. I feel like you're just planning a dinner party. I planned those in a week or two. You got 40 days. Okay, good. Ashley's coming. All right. See, the women, I like this because the ladies are not part of the ceremony, but they're part of the activities leading up to it. So they're showing that they're happy for their girl getting married. I like this. Did we all notice how Giselle went for the most bedazzled thing there? You see how the older folks went to bed early? Karen, Robin, Giselle. You know, Giselle went right into you and Candace kiss, Ashley and Candace kiss. I wouldn't do that. I would say Ashley and Mia kissed because those are the ones who be doing other things with lady friends. But I don't think they're attracted to each other. Who else kissed? 
Mm -hmm. Look how irritated Giselle got by someone saying something positive about Wendy. Like, look at this. Why? Wendy is not reciprocating. Oh, Robin, that's so pretty. Oh, Robin, we like this first dress. We all in agreement that Juan is the only person that Robin has been with? Okay, cool. Or at least the only person she's ever loved, right? You know how you're supposed to get three loves? She went with her first and compared him to every, okay. I love how like they're supposed to be in this moment. This scene is supposed to be about Robin dressing up and coming out as a bride. And they're like, okay, you, go, go back. We gotta talk about the vagina. Mia and Wendy left together. Robin, that's just a dress. Yeah, that's just a dress dress. Robin, we like this. Robin, that's the dress. That last one is the dress. She hasn't told her mother that she's getting married? Yo, is this my age group? Y'all remember Girls Gone Wild? Not that I watched it, but y'all remember the Girls Gone Wild era? So glad that that is gone. You know what? Maybe I'm not so glad that that is gone because that didn't make us look that bad. We went from girls going wild, to love and hip hop. She just hate Wendy. I mean, anything that Wendy would have done, she would have said no. But honestly, everybody, I did say last episode that Wendy was the person who would be laughing and screaming a little too much and making it like a little more awkward than it needs to be. But everybody was like, Sharice was laughing, Candace was laughing like the delusion. You just want a reason. I guess I, I get it. Based on what happened uh, two seasons ago, I get it. But you know, isn't this weird? You not inviting a woman for talking about you and your husband, but you inviting your future hu husband who, who cheated on you multiple times? Okay, cool. Yo, there go those cutouts again. Y'all see how Candace is like, she keep looking around to see if that snake is coming. I don't blame her. Not the old ladies was fighting. Oh, so Candy, she gonna be at this year's Essex? Or was this last year's? Chris says sounds real extra. It's between him saying what women say and him being a, a white man saying that. I just, it's a lot, Christopher. Look at them both wearing they on or off. But you should be concerned about what Juan says when he's drunk. Ooh. I forgot about that moment. I remember thinking like, huh? Yeah, actually, so, Ashley be telling everybody's business. I love that. She ain't even at this brunch. And she on FaceTime telling business. I really like Mia's house. It's so interesting to me how people just walk around homes with their shoes on. I know for like the show, you can't really do that, right? You can't tell somebody to take your nice heels off, but you just came from the gravel or the grass somewhere in my driveway. And now you bringing that throughout my house. Not Giselle saying that they had sex. <laughs> did, did you show her yours? Me, I didn't ask to see, but I looked though. Me don't care. How, how many times y'all gonna tell? Mia does not care. She will tell you about every single surgery, all the married men she slept with, threesomes, bring in other men, who she looked with this, that. She will talk, she'll care. Oh, oh yeah, we're jealous. Oh, see, now this backhanded. Now you saying that Wendy has been jealous of you. And it's not her being jealous of you. She just wanted your cookie. See, just when I thought y'all was being friends. Now hold up. You making it sound like she touched, like she did a little, 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 little. You had some reconstruction. So I feel like she was touching for that. Mm. See, that's like a boot. Jacqueline wanted to come over and apologize. You know it. Oh, okay. So we are at this point in the year. You know, it's crazy because I, I totally forgot that all of that happened in 2021. But there, Wendy has a lot to lose, as she mentioned. And she is going on air to talk about the importance of Roe v. Wade. So here's what I'm going to say on this. Robin and Wendy thing. Wendy, you disrespected her and her marriage. You are now being held liable for that. Part of that includes you not celebrating my marriage and my union with me. You gotta live with that. That's a decision you made by disrespecting her. She has every right not to wanna invite you to her party. But also Robin, you gotta stop being so happy-go-lucky with her when you're not around Giselle. When you're with her one-on-one, -on -one, you guys seem like you're cool. That's why Wendy is like, what's going on? Because you kinda act two different ways. So if you don't f her, you don't f her. Wendy, come on. You know what's different about Wendy? She came here established. A lot of these women got established because of the show. I think that's why I like her so much. Look at these ladies in these outfits. That's an affirm outfit, I know that. Come on. The money gun. Now who gonna pick all that up? Everybody supposed to wear purple dresses? Now Mia, here go another situation. You know you're supposed to be in purple. Why are you wearing something that has purple in it? Same thing as the all white party when she wore a white dress with red flowers all over it. 
It screams like I want to be the center of attention. I don't like when everyone, anyone else gets attention. Mia don't do that. And this is another event that she planned. Wait, did they know they were wearing the same thing? Look at these hoes. They're so cute. Wait, so the theme is not purple? Cause she's in all black. I'm confused. Where Robin go to college? The adult I know that much. I think. Robin, that's what you was wearing in college? Show a little more titty. Wait, why she do that when talking about baby? At one point, they were trying to have another baby. Why well, wanted a little girl? Come on, little dog three with. Okay, since I'm not being shady on just reasonably be shady by asking who listens to that, who owns a LaDom candle? Same thing, who went to Ashley's Australian restaurant? Why you say you're not worried about the bachelorette party, but you want to send her a picture of it? That means you are worried. You sound pressed. <laughs> Mia was a whole stripper. <laughs> they had a four-way kiss? Vagina is a commitment I cannot commit to. <laughs> Thank you, Candace. It's not good for Wendy. I know her mama gonna call her. I know Eddie gonna say something. This is not good for your image, Wendy. This is what I'm talking about. We don't need to go to see men. Let's go to the lady club. This is a go-go club. This ain't a strip club. She's taking a shot. Wow. Oh, it is a strip club. <laughs> I stand corrected. Did we just see Teddy? Oh, it was blurred. Zell <laughs> talking to the stripper. Robin know how to do this. See? Do y'all see Ashley's baby hairs? Cause her forehead back here, her baby hairs go like this. They back together. They been Oh! See, this is what I was up. So Candace was like, nah, I'm not gonna say nothing if y'all are divorcing. He's out with a woman. It is what it is. But now he's over here telling you that y'all, he's not dating and y'all are getting back together. Mm-mm. Ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Bro, even in the divorce, he playing you. Steak and lobster at the strip club. That's a well cooked steak, ain't it? Be a reminiscent. Sharice. Candace said, I hate my friends who disappear. They be stuck in the corner. Yeah, we remember drunk Karen. What she known for? No. Hey, everybody, it's Andy. Okay, everybody, not Karen Huger, the grand dame. Oh my God. Now this is like defamation of character because how you gonna prove that? You have to get a man who's gonna come out and say that's Ooh, Lord. It's since we've been together as a group. So Giselle knew this too? Sharice told me the story. At the end of the day, I am team black love. I don't have a comment. I love Candace this season. It's ridiculous. Ray hired a PI to see any stuff about this blue eyes guy, but then he realized you, oh my God. Y'all, this just keeps getting better and better. Slash worse and worse for Karen. Not a prostitute. Oh. Mia, you trying. That's a Gordon thing. There is no way in hell that Ray would say that. That's some new shit that Gordon would do for you, Mia, because he know you be messing around. And so does he. That's not Ray. Ray is very old school. Ray didn't even want her to have a business. You think he wants her to have another man? Maybe Ray does the same thing. You know strip clubs ain't nothing to Ashley. And clearly Mia. Now how does this work? Because you throwing your money on stage. They not gonna let you collect that. You gotta leave that for the club, right? Robin, get off the pole. This might be the best bachelorette party we've seen on this show or on these housewives. I told y'all this episode this season just got better and better. This one also topped the last one. This is what we've been waiting for, Andy. Listen, I'm not going to end this here. I will stay, I'm going to say stay on, but it's going to be like five seconds from now. I need to watch, watch what happens live with Candace and Lauren London, because I heard shit about that. I need to watch all the Robin interviews. I need to see all the social media shit. I need to see that TikTok where he shares what the woman said about Juan. Y'all, I'm going to go do that. I'm going to come back. I'm gonna report back. I'll see y'all. Okay, I have watched all the interviews, all the Watch What Happens lives, all of that good stuff. And yes, I'm about to go out. Listen, I've got a couple of notes. First and foremost, Lauren London, you know you were going on Watch What Happens Live to talk about Potomac. Why were you so hesitant to talk? Okay, but I'm not gonna do that because um, Queen Lauren London, we will stand with you henceforth now and forevermore. Okay, uh, Candace is saying that the comments that Sharice made at the bachelorette party were egregious, but in the moment, everybody was eating them all up. So that's interesting to hear post reunion. Also interesting that she was saying that Mia was the person who got all the 
during the reunion. Okay, next. Robin needs to stand on her own and she doesn't need a gremlin to hold her up. How many times have I said that Robin is giving us two different Robins? One when she's by herself and another when she's with Giselle. Time and time again, she and Wendy were good when she was with Wendy, just her. When she got back with Giselle, then she wasn't. Candace said Giselle needs to go. Now Giselle got the seat right next to Andy Cohen, if y'all remember. Hmm, she ain't go nowhere. I'm also shocked that everyone loves Sharice. I'm also shocked that Lauren London really likes Robin, but okay. Love the not today say it, not today neck, not today ankles. And now, all the interviews of Robin. She was on her Reasonably Shady, which I still did not invest in. I got all the clips that I needed. Talking about how she knew that Juan had actually cheated on her during COVID. Now, I hate that for her, right? Cause he cheated on her in their last marriage. He cheated on her after. Now he cheated on her during their engagement. Like, sis, wake up. It's not you, it's him. And now you're choosing to get married to him, which is not, it makes more sense now why she was like, we need to put an infidelity clause in the prenup. And he looked at her like, come on. Nah, not come on. We've had this in the past. And she really meant recent past, but we thought she was talking about marriage number one. Anyway, um, next thing is that she made people pay to hear her side of the story on their Patreon. Shorty who is on a show where she is supposed to be talking about her life is telling people to go pay for it in her platform, on her platform. And for those of you guys who haven't heard it, just to give you a brief, like, quick synopsis of what happened and what she said, she found out about it, they got through it. It wasn't something easy to get through, but they got through it. She thought it would come up this season, but no one actually raised it. But she thought, oh, when Karen was bringing up, this is the time that it was gonna come up. But then she heard that it was him walking in the street, holding hands with somebody who looked like Karen, and she's like, can't believe it. And then the woman sent receipts and Juan had the hotel that they that she was staying in allegedly in his name. And Robin believes it's because the girl didn't have her wallet. Not that Juan stayed there. Okay. Y'all, I gotta end this because this is ridiculous. Um, my question to you is was Robin wrong for not bringing this up on this season show and talking about it on Reasonably Shady? Because yes, this is about your life, but also you're not gonna willingly give someone something that's embarrassing to you. Cause this is embarrassing. She's not gonna bring it up unless it is brought up and then she'll be ready to talk about it. So I can't quite fault her for that because it never came up. I don't know. I wrestle with this, y'all. All right, let me know your thoughts. Sound off in these comments and I legit can't wait for this reunion. We do have one more episode until the reunion. Next week is the season finale. So stick with me. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, please remember that everything that I have said has been from Rizzo with love.